Okay. Nombor 3A. 3A. Self practice 2.2. Okay. Nanti kamu boleh repeat balik dengan yang saya ingin kita Right. So. Apa question dia? Kata form quadratic equation with the following roots. Iaitu. Alpha plus 2 and beta plus 2. Okay, cikgu tak ambil note dia belakang-belakang di atas tu. Iaitu dia kata, Alpha and beta are the roots of the equation 5x squared minus 10x minus 9 equal to 0. Oh, okay. Uh, right lah. Jadi, cikgu nak suruh kau tengok juga ini. Nanti bila kita buat semasa ni. Okay, right. So, quadratic equation macam mana? X squared minus sum of root plus product of root equal to zero. Boleh faham? Jadi, <coughs> bila you, you, you have to understand that. Jadi, X squared minus SORX plus POR equal to zero. So, find SOR. Kalau tak di root, tak di simple je. Am, ambil je uh, whatever value, cari sum of root, product of root. Tapi yang ni macam mana? Nak cari sum of root dia? Alpha plus 2 plus beta plus 2 Ada tak boleh simplify apa pun? You boleh kata alpha plus beta plus 4 What can you do? Nothing That is why dia beritahu ni Okay, kenapa? So, apa dia beritahu ni? Alpha and beta are the roots So, kalau kamu dapatkan root equation ni boleh tak? Lepas tu, yang mana satu alpha mana satu beta? You do not know. Faham? Jadi, what you have to remember adalah You can find sum of root and product of root from equation. How? Aisyah? How to find sum of root and product of root from equation? Ada formula. What is it? SOR Ataupun instead of SOR, kita tulis alpha plus beta. Okay, dan ni jangan confuse. Alpha plus beta, kadang A besar, A kecil, dengan root. Faham? Jadi, alpha plus beta is sum of root. Apa formula dia? Negative B over A. Pernah dengar? Alright. Okay, jadi yang ni, sekali pun pernah dengar, kena hafal lagi. Okay. Jadi, apa dia? Negative, negative 10 over 5. So, dapat apa-apa? Uh, 10 over dapat 2 Jadi Alpha plus beta Equal to 2 So itulah Digunanya Ini alpha plus beta What is the value of Alpha plus beta 2 Jadi 2 plus 4 Dapatlah C So kita dapat Sum of root Dapat C Faham Dah, dah siap ke Belum lagi Kita baru dapat X squared Minus Sum Iaitu dapat 6X Product belum dapat lagi So Find the P O R for the of root. How to find for the of root? Yang ini alpha plus two times beta plus two. Expand the bracket. Alpha, alpha times beta, alpha beta. Lepas tu tambah lagi dengan two alpha tambah two beta tambah dengan four. Lepas tu yang ini kita kena dapat dalam bentuk alpha plus beta. Faham? Jadi ini alpha beta. Yang ini 2 bracket alpha plus beta plus 4. So nampak tak ada ada pula alpha beta. Alpha beta sebenarnya bila dia bagi rujukan sini, you kena write down alpha plus beta which is to represent apa? Represent sum of root. Sebab alpha and beta are the root. So alpha plus beta is sum of root. So alpha beta adalah Product of root Okay Kenapa nak tulis uh, uh, Sum of root Product of root Sebab kita nak gunakan ni Sebagai referen Untuk sini Jadi Alpha beta Equals to what? <coughs> ah, C over A C over A berapa? Negative 9 over 5 Faham? Okay Ni nombor apa ni? Oh ni Nombor 3A ya? Eh? Okay Okay alright Dah sikit dah kan Okay jadi Replace Alpha darab beta berapa? 
negative 9 over 5 plus 2 alpha plus beta is 2 plus 4 jadi cikgu tak tahu kira tolong kira berapa? 6 6.2 uh, tekan shift ABC 1 over 5 saja macam tu je Terima kasih. Ah, okay. Jadi masuk ke sini. Jadi plus. Uh, okay, let's see. X plus 31 over 5 equal to 0. Tapi kita tak nak fraction. Ini nampak tak? Nampak? Okay. Eh? Jadi you multiply all by 5. So dapat 5X squared minus 30. X plus 31 equal 0 Faham? Jadi setiap satu yang number 3 and 4 tu Macam tu lah Jadi you have to find sum of root And then you have to find product of root And this reference is Will be used repeatedly Okay uh -huh. Okay Okay, 3B eh? Alright, so we are still using the info Okay, so A plus B still uh, equals to 2 And AB equals to negative 9 over 2 Using formula negative B over A and C over A Okay, alright So that is the look of A plus B dengan AB Jadi, uh, new roots given is 5A Okay, since I, I use A to the 2 And 5B Okay, so find SOR 5A plus 5B You can factorize 5A plus B Okay, so A plus B is 2 So you get 10 Then POR 5A times 5B 25 a, B. Actually, this is simpler. Right? Um, 25 times negative 9 over 5. So, cut here, dapat 5, negative 45. Wow, okay. So, you have sum of root, you have product of root. So, equation will be, what is the equation? X squared. X squared. Minus. minus. Ah, minus X squared minus. minus. Oh, minus Aha. X plus 45. Minus 45. Aha. Asal dia equal to 0. Simplify lagi. Minus 45 equal 0. Okay. Senang. Yeah. Ah, actually memang senang. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay, 3C. Oh. Dah jumpa dah? Dah okay. jumpa dah. Okay. SOR adalah A minus 1 plus B minus 1 A plus B minus 2 So, the value of A plus B equal 2 Minus 2 dapat 0 POR adalah A minus 1 times dengan B minus 1 So, dapat A, B minus A minus B plus 1 so A, B minus A plus B plus 1 So A, B will be negative 9 over 5 Minus A plus B will be 2 plus 1 So ni, so kita tengok kita tanya Kamu dapat apa? Betul, negative 9 over 5 minus 2 plus 1 Negative 14 over 5 Negative 14 over 5 Okay so the equation x squared minus sum of root 0x plus negative 14 over 5 equal 0. So x squared minus 14 over 5 equal 0. 5x squared minus 14 equal 0. Sama? Okay, question 2D. 
given equation 5x squared minus 10x minus 9 equal to 0 and they want you to create equation from new roots alpha over 3 and beta over 3 so we find the value of alpha plus beta will be negative b over a which is negative negative 10 over 5 we get 2 alpha beta is product of root c over a negative 9 over 5 so you have new roots alpha over over 3 and beta over 3 so equation will be x squared minus sor x plus 4 equals 0 so sum of root find sum of root so sum of root will be alpha over 3 plus beta over 3 so alpha plus beta over 3 so alpha plus beta is 2 so 2 over 3 product of root will be uh, alpha over 3 over 3 times beta over 3 so the answer will be alpha beta over 9 so alpha beta is negative 9 over 5 divided by 9 so negative 9 over 5 divided by 9 is equal to negative 9 over 5 times 1 over 9 then you can cut is negative 1 over 5 so the equation just replace so x squared minus sor is 2 over 3 x plus 4 plus negative or negative 1 over 5 equal to 0 since denominator is 3 and 5 you multiply everything with 15 so 15 x squared here times 5 times 5 minus 10 x here times 3 times 3 minus 3 equals 0 so that's the answer for number 2 b